For this video, I'm dropping in on the Easy Street Family Fun Center. Fasten your safety belts, because this is about to get bumpy. Today I decided to take a ride down to Ocala, Florida because I wanted to check out the Easy Street Family Fun Center. This is a great little attraction. Um, obviously it's not as big as some of the uh, go-kart tracks and family fun centers in Orlando, but it's still got its own unique charm. When it comes to things to do for kids, Ocala is really lacking, at least nowadays. You know, 15-20 years ago there were a lot of different places you could take your kids. Whether it be Silver Springs or Wild Waters or even in the 80s, six-gun territory. And now Ocala really has none of that left. So it really is refreshing to see a place as nice as Easy Street Family Fun Center. While clearly not the largest arcade I've ever been to, they have an epic collection that uh, pretty much covers all the bases that you could think of. Skee ball, basketball trick shots, an amazing roster of arcade machines. I d wasn't aware that there was a new cruising game out and this Cruise and Blast game was amazing. I also really was getting into the Galaga and Miss Pac-Man Twin Machine. That is awesome for some good old school video game action. I also was here to check out the Laser Maze. I definitely got a funny look uh, when I bought a ticket for this because you can clearly tell this is designed for like 8 year olds. Obviously it was going to appeal to a giant idiot like myself as well. You know, the point of it is you're supposed to kind of twirl and twist yourself through the maze of lasers. Kind of like, I guess that movie Entrapment where uh, Catherine Zeta-Jones was squeezing her um, self through the lasers. So you basically, you're not supposed to trip the lasers. And it on the hard setting, it's actually a fairly challenging kind of thing to do because the lasers are everywhere. And you succeed by not uh, triggering them and getting to the other side and tapping the buttons on the walls. Obviously it's not an adult thing to do, but damn it looks cool on camera so I had to do it. While I was in the arcade I also scoped out the prizes they have in the glass case. I'm telling you, if you play, you know, about fifteen to twenty thousand dollars worth of uh, skee ball, you can go home with a pretty cherry 19 inch flat screen TV. It's totally worth it and you just have to invest a little time to, to be able to make those dreams happen. This place does pack a lot of activities in a very small area. They've got a great rock climbing wall, a mini golf course, batting cages, and obviously the go-kart track that everyone comes here for. I think you can tell from this video that um, this go-kart track is a little on the lumpy side. I think the uneven pavement adds to some of the appeal because some of these go-karts weren't particularly fast. I had my uh, gas pedal buried to the floorboard the whole time and I wasn't moving as fast as some of the other carts out there, so just saying, if you get uh, go-kart number 20, it's probably the slowest thing out there. I don't feel like I was making the same horsepower, because I only weigh 140 pounds, and these were two-seater go-karts, so there were people who were twice my size who were buzzing me. Um, not every go-kart is running with the same horsepower out there, clearly. Despite that, I still had a, a blast. It is a fun little go-kart track, and totally worth the uh, the price of admission. What's the bottom line for the Easy Street Family Fun Center? This is probably the premier tourist attraction for bringing your kids on an afternoon in Ocala. There really isn't anything else in this area that is remotely similar to this place. So if you're looking for an arcade and go-kart track that's similar to the you know bigger attractions in Orlando and California and Pigeon Forge and all those places, this is the place to come. And it's the only one in town Yet, despite that lack of competition, this place is top-notch, and I highly recommend it. If you enjoyed today's episode, don't forget to like and subscribe.